Sometimes it's just easier to send the content from your phone to your TV instead of having to download and log into a bunch of different apps, especially if it's a TV at an Airbnb or one that you're just using temporarily. So today we're gonna to show you how to screen mirror or cast from your iPhone to a Sony TV. And we'll be using Sony's Bravia 9 in this example. This process will be initiated from your phone, but first you'll wanna make sure your TV is ready to go with AirPlay turned on. To check on this, press the settings cogwheel on your remote, then select all settings. From there, navigate down to system, and then in the system menu, go down to about and check the device name. This will be very handy later on. And we can see this TV is named Studio One TV. After that, go back to the system menu and head down to Apple AirPlay and HomeKit and select Apple AirPlay and HomeKit settings. As you can see, I already have AirPlay turned on and you'll notice require code is set to first time only. This means that the first time that anyone AirPlays from a particular phone to this TV, you'll need to enter a code. And worth noting, just under that require code setting, you'll see subtitles and captioning. If there are specific changes like font type, size, and color that you wanna make to your closed captions while sending content from your iPhone to the TV, you'll make them here. You'll also need to make sure your TV is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your phone. Again, press the settings cogwheel, then navigate down to Wi-Fi to check. So I've got my TV and phone connected to Wi-Fi and I'm ready to go. On the iPhone, access the control center by swiping down from the top right corner. I'll scroll down and see the screen mirror icon, the one with two screens. I have a few options here, but the Bravia 9 I know is labeled Studio One TV. When I select the correct device, the AirPlay passcode and my iPhone name appear on the TV screen. Once I enter that passcode, I'm connected. And since I had the AirPlay settings set to require a code on the first time only, I shouldn't have to do this again. Next time I go to screen mirror from my phone, it'll connect right away. So boom, that's how we screen mirror from the iPhone to the TV. Now, before we go on to casting from your iPhone, one, you should subscribe to this channel for helpful tips, and two, you should know the difference between screen mirroring and casting. Screen mirroring is exactly that, displaying what's on your phone screen on the TV. Sure, you could watch some content that way and do a bit of browsing on your phone, but you and everyone else would be seeing everything on your phone screen. It's not the best for a distraction-free viewing experience or personal privacy. Casting, on the other hand, can be thought of as working in the background. So let's show you how that works using Netflix as an example. If the TV's Netflix app doesn't have you logged in already, it will prompt you to go through the usual steps with the QR code that you'll use with your phone to log in. Once that's taken care of, within your Netflix app on the phone, find the content you want to cast to the TV and press the cast icon in the top right corner of the screen. You should now see the content you selected playing on the TV. And as explained earlier, with casting, I can navigate outside of my Netflix app on the phone, but the content is still being displayed on the TV, not my phone screen. Thanks as always for watching, and hopefully this video taught you a helpful thing or two about your Sony TV. Be sure to subscribe to the channel as we continue releasing how-to guides and tutorials, and check out Caleb Dennison's You Asked series, where he answers specific viewer questions around home theater and tech.